nimki has been walking for, uh, today's his third day, so he's been walking five kilometers a day. He's up at 5 a.m. and he starts at 6 p.m. wherever he left off from. We've been walking for uh, 215 children that were found in a mass grave in Kamloops, B.C. Uh, and also the survivors that went to Indian Residential School and Day School as well. The, well, both my parents went, my grandparents, which is Nimki's grandparents and great-grandparents, and, and numerous people too that, who attended today's school and residential school as well. I'm really proud of them for doing this. You know, yesterday, the Grassy Narrows First Nation elders honored him, and I, you know, they just thanked him for what he's doing, and they're really impressed for him for his age of a 10-year-old. Not only. He's doing it. He's got lots of support. He's got youth from Grassy. Uh, he's got a local band member from his community that joined the walk today for the third day. Tomorrow is his last day. He'll be starting here at uh, Rabbit Lake Junction here. So he'll be starting at 10 o'clock and he'll be finishing off at the uh, CJ property, which is known as Cecilia Jeffrey Indian Residential School, which is located at the old Grand Council Tree 3 office. That's where he'll end at 12 o'clock. His goal is to be there by 12 noon. It's nice to have all these people walking with me. Nimke's already done the hard part. Three days, 6 a.m., five kilometers. Tomorrow's the last day of his journey, three and a half kilometers. He's starting here at Veterans Drive and Rabbit Lake Road and walking for three and a half kilometers to finish his journey. Come out and support not just Nimke, but the 215 children lost in Kamloops. For HGTV News, I'm Jack Dawson.